So, helicopters and cars. I mean, when you break it down, they're practically the same thing. Because when you think about it, all you're doing is spinning stuff really fast and getting somewhere. So it only makes sense to just combine them into one thing. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do in this episode. I have an idea for my own design for a heli car. Flying cars has been a dream of humanity for a very long time. And I've shown many flying cars on the channel. And I've even created some flying cars. But this one is going to be unlike anything I've ever created. Like, it, I don't know how it's going to go. But I think a good way to start is, um... I don't know, I, I haven't thought it that far yet, okay? <laughs> All I know is that I intend on using a couple of these propellers built into the body of the car in a hopefully cool way. All right, here we go, check it out. So imagine, if you will, that this is the hood of the car and also something identical in the back of the car where the trunk would be. I was just trying to see what it would look like if I just try to encircle or encase one of these propellers. And I think this way looks pretty cool and might actually be able to work for the size of the car that I want to build. I don't want it to be a big car. We also need it to be kind of light because we're, uh, we're not going to have that much power with these propellers. I might need to supplement with some other type of power if these propellers aren't going to be enough, but... Let's see what I can make out of this. All right, so I got a super bare bones prototype here just with the propellers and the shape of the car. And I just wanted to see if the propellers are strong enough to lift up the car. And by the looks of it, that is a resounding no. I mean, you can see they have an impact on the suspension, but I might be able, I think I left myself room enough to, oh, did I not? I really thought I was just gonna be able to double it up on the bottom of this, but there's not enough room with this suspension here. The hitbox of these things is not fun. Oh, I got an idea. Check this out. I get to keep suspension. The suspension is now going to be attached here, and it also leaves room for the extra set of propellers. All right, now with double the propellers, do I get lift off? All right, unfortunately, I do not get lift off. All right, well, you know what? Let's just get a feel for it by uh, driving off the carrier with the propellers activated. Let's see what happens. Okay. I realize there is definitely room in the roof of this thing to put some more of these propellers. Aha, check that out. I feel like it's going to be an uneven um, weight distribution center of lift, though. And yeah, we got more lift in the back, but don't worry. I can fix that. Oh, my... It's I'm pulling back right now the whole time. My seat controls are on, so I'm leaning back. But uh, this is actually kind of working better already than I expected. I almost have control over this thing, but we're going to have to do better than almost. I mean, it's, it doesn't have to work great, but it does have to work. All right, I've adjusted some weight to the back. <laughs> Look at that was such a smooth takeoff. And now we fly so much straighter. All I did was move my engines to the back. Um, so I have seat controls, which are pretty effective, but they only give me roll and pitch. And I'm also realizing an issue with this thing is it has no directional stability. So it's extremely floaty. Um, I really can't control what direction I'm facing that well, because I have no yaw or anything like that. So this is all stuff that I have to engineer into this thing. I'm definitely going to probably put a tail on this so I can maintain, or actually... Maybe not like a telltale. I think I can try to work it into the design of the car. I kind of want it to look like a car in its profile, but then have the ability to function like a helicopter. So what I'm thinking is adding some like these of these tail wing things. You know, you've seen these on like usually more of the old fashioned cars. They have these wing looking things on the back of the car. So this is going to give us some directional stability, which will definitely help with control. There we go. Just like that. I've also added some design stuff to the front to make it look a little bit cooler. So now what this enables me to do is actually have some better directional stability. So you see if I turn to the side over here, it should automatically try to keep my nose in the direction of travel. But you can see uh, I've been testing it out a little bit. It is still pretty floaty, especially once roll starts happening. Yeah, then then this, this feedback loop starts to happen here. I've been thinking about making this thing have some forward thrust as well to help with the um, the forward velocity, because the faster we're going forward, then the better our stability is going to be as well with these tail fins. Okay, I've made some modifications, and this thing's turning out to be a little bit more of a nightmare than I was hoping for, but uh, one of the modifications I made was a, a folding out thrusters. So that's gonna help me to get some forward momentum. Right now I have everything simplified into one control for my thrust and my propellers. I tried to also give myself yaw because if we're gonna be a helicopter type car, yaw is gonna be really important because it's gonna be a lot less about roll than it is with like a plane um, and more about yaw. But running into some massive issues here, which you're seeing right now, I'm just trying to fly straight. 
and I'm getting massive feedback. Oh, let me open up these uh, thrusters. It doesn't really make that much of a difference, but um, yeah. So if I yaw to the right, you can see it definitely works, but then if I let go of it, uh, we get into some massive feedback loops. And I think one of the reasons, oh boy, is I don't really have any horizontal stabilization. So there's nothing really resisting those types of uh, tilts. All right, so it's not a whole lot, but I did put some powered fins towards the back and the front here that are going to hopefully provide some resistance to that uh, rolling effect. And oh boy, I should have got a little bit more propeller power before I took off. But let's see if we, uh, let's see if we can fight those oscillations now. All right, let's turn over here. There we go. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Let's turn this way. Oh boy, there's a lot of adverse effects to that yaw. It's mostly, I think, because the yaw is not very centered at, oh boy. Nailed it. Now we can drive just like a normal car. All right, so I've been doing a lot of tweaking. I think I have it in a decent state right now, at least considering what this thing is. Now, I had to make some questionable decisions. I wouldn't really call it cheating. I would more call it um, over-engineering just for the sake of practicality. Um, and what I had to do was I had to put propellers in the floor of the car. So... It's very dangerous in here. You can see if we look in from the top, uh, right below the driver's seat is very fast, sharp spinning propellers. So it's not the safest vehicle, but as you can see, it's flying. I can pretty much control it wherever I want to go. Um, oh yeah, I've also replaced my mini thrusters with uh, dragon thrusters. So they're a little bit more powerful. They also give a, a smoke, uh, smoke trail as well. So let me try to turn around here. Oh boy, oh boy, hold on. Don't worry, don't worry, I got this. I can recover from this because I'm a car. <laughs> I am a car, is it? What did I just crash into? All right, I'm not that much of a car anymore. Okay, let's try this again. I'm trying to show you guys how awesome this thing is. All right, I'm trying to show you guys how awesome this thing is. And I'm not doing a very good job right now. But um, what I was trying to say, oh, hold on, let me open these up again for, you know, more the realism effect because the heli car, helicopter car is totally realistic. Um, but you can see the yaw does work. I can turn in this direction and hopefully recover from it. Uh, I did lose a little bit of altitude there, but not all the altitude. I still had some altitude and that that's the most important thing when you're trying to survive while flying something is having some altitude. Doesn't really matter how much, just as long as some, okay? All right, so I gotta do the ultimate test here. Um, since this is a heli car, why don't I try to fly this thing over to the helipad and see if I can do that? It doesn't have the most amount of lift when it comes to how fast I can climb in altitude, but I will slowly climb on my way over there. It is also very wobbly. <laughs> Very, very wobbly when it comes to the yaw. I don't really know why it's so wobbly. I mean, it's just probably because of the lack of um, the lack of wings on this thing. It's just the stuff on the tail. But, oh, there's a the helipad. I really got to start getting up there. All right, hold on. Don't worry, I can do this. This is a heli car. We're going to come in for the gentlest, smoothest landing and then safely drive off of the helipad um, to demonstrate the practicality and usefulness of the, the this brand new futuristic heli car of the future. All right, here, here we go. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. I probably should have had separate controls for the forward thrust and the propellers, but look at that. Perfectly fine. We can just go ahead and drive right off of here. I mean, this car is a little, the dimensions of this car are a little bit weird. Wait. I feel like I already knew this, but is there really no road down from the helipad? Why is there no road leading to or from the helipad? We just, we literally, this is all we can do here. All right, well, we are the heli car, so I guess, I guess we want to get down to a regular road. Ironically, we don't need roads to get there. So let's go ahead and lift off here. There we go. And I am going to drive down and try to land on this uh, this catwalk over here, right above the hoop of fire. Uh oh, I'm having trouble. I am having trouble uh, just pitching up right now. All right, come on. I'm just trying to land on the catwalk. All right, here we go. Here we go. Just gentle landing. Oh, look at that. 
This is it's actually going pretty good. We're a car again. And oh no, it looks like the road is broken here. Whatever will the heli car do in a situation like this? Well, it turns out the heli car is part heli copter. <laughs> so we can just fly right over it. And I don't even feel like taking this turn right here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Whoa, that was close. I almost hit my nose on that. Yeah, just go ahead and jump that gap. Ah, of course. That is the, uh, the built-in self-destruct feature. Almost forgot about that. Well, this may not be the best possible heli car, but it is my heli car, and I've built this heli car, and I'm pretty proud of it. I just had the visual of those propellers sitting in the hood of the car like that, and that is what I wanted to accomplish, and it actually functions. I got to do some pretty cool stuff with this thing, so if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on this video, and if you want to enjoy more stuff like this, you can check out some of this stuff on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.